And again, what it feels like is to trust the innocence more than you trust what you think that you know. And you trust your state of being innocent more. You trust in that more. You find your safety in being innocent more than you focus on or insist upon an outcome or a certain safety in a certain way out there. You trust in the safety of your own innocence, of your own softness, of your own surrender. And in that softness, in that surrender, in that humility, in that openness, you can begin to become that receiving force, that satellite dish, which will greatly empower you. Paradoxically, it is the humility. It is the surrender of knowledge. It's the surrender of rigidity. It's the surrender of expectations. It's the surrender of judgment that makes you the embodiment of love once again. So what about softening. if I, <clears throat> what about if I attract so much with this innocence, no fear, feel no fear to attract that much? Can you say that again? I didn't quite get that. Uh, to don't have fear. What about if I attract more than I want with the sensation of innocent what do you mean attract more than you want i i felt what you are telling me just is something that instead of my energy to be like this it's just more like inside and more innocent like more vulnerable and i feel like that attract more of the masculine and I don't know if I want that uh, that yes. attention well, you, do, you do need to have high standards to practice this mm -hmm. which again means you got to be discerning and it's true and it's a good point you bring up um, if you do begin to radiate this innocence uh, yes. almost virtually all men, no matter how many problems mm -hmm. they still have running around their minds, will be greatly attracted to that because they all yes. seek that. They all seek uh -huh. that liberation and they seek that nourishment and mm -hmm. not at a fault of their own per se. Like that's just the way nature is programmed and they also have a tough life typically. So they mm -hmm. seek that nourishment. They seek that innocence and not every man is ready to handle that with integrity or with clarity. Yeah. They're just mm -hmm. not ready for that. So what I was talking about was from the perspective of already having found someone that you trust and within that container, practicing the innocence and the surrender, because otherwise you never will practice that. If nobody's ever good enough for you, then that's another fault. And that's another sort of uh, protective barrier that just shoots yourself in the foot. So there does have to be some openness, right? There has to be some risk involved. You have to be willing for your heart to be broken on a human level. If you're not willing to do that, then forget about it. If you're not willing to have your heart broken, not that that needs to happen, but I'm saying if you're not willing to take that risk, to t step into the uncertainty, then you're definitely not willing and uh, ready to be the divine feminine, which has absolutely no fears or considerations. She is receptive <clears throat> to all energies, still discerning on a human level, still smart on a human level, but... I was speaking more strictly within the safe container of being with a man that you already trust, that you know is trustworthy. Maybe okay. not, you know, and God's my, perfection. But. Sorry. And in my day by day? In your day by day, you kind of, um, yep, it's tricky. And this is where I think it's very important that the masculine gets educated because it will make it easier for the feminine to blossom and radiate this innocence all the time. But it's a little bit tricky going out there, uh, admittedly, and being fully open in this way. So, one second. It's okay for now. It's okay to not radiate that out everywhere you go. Okay. Does that make sense? It's okay to shield yourself a little mm -hmm. bit. Just remember when you're back in the comfort and safety of your own house. Mm -hmm. Remember to open back up to God as that all-pervasive, all-supportive, all-trusting, natural force, that masculine force, and or with the partner that you've attracted that you trust. Soften those barriers again. Really, 
if you want to put up your shields when you go out there, or if you have to sometimes, that's okay. But just minimize the amount of time that you need to do that. Do it discerningly, do it with wisdom and do it consciously, not identifying with it. Just realizing, okay, I'm in public. I understand what's going on. If I start radiating like a fucking divine fragrant flower here, then uh, shit's going to hit like, the fan. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, it can't, in certain situations, that can be a beautiful gift that you offer. So if you feel safe enough in the environment where you are, you could try it and see what happens. But if you never, you know, if you're walking around the streets by yourself and it's like, you know, 10 p.m., see, si. um, don't yes, don't do that. Maybe. <laughs> um, so it's okay. It. It's okay to shield yourself. It's okay to make yourself a little bit more invisible when you're going out into the matrix, especially mm -hmm. depending on the context and the situation. Uh, that's okay for now. That's relatively smart. That's relatively speaking wise for now. I mean, times are changing, but it may still take some time for that to be totally safe everywhere you go. But imagine the beauty of that. Imagine women all around the world being able to wherever they go, whenever, whatever time of day, whatever city, whatever area of the planet, where they could just radiate that complete receptivity and that complete trust and openness. It'd be <sighs> gorgeous and it'd be very balancing for the masculine and be very balancing for the feminine and be very balancing for the earth. But for now, I would be um, irresponsible to say, just do this everywhere you go. So it's totally okay to shield yourself, but do it more consciously. Don't believe that's who you are. You're not that quality of shielding. It's not necessary. You don't need to thrive in that, in that society. You don't need to become masculine and shielded uh, as sort of something to show off with and then call that equality and all that bullshit. You want, you want to ascend to the true feminine. You want to balance yourself into the true feminine. That's my suggestion. For the most part, practice that when you're in the safety of your own home, when you're in the safety of a partner that you trust, friends that you trust. Um, and that's enough. Like for the most part, that's what you should spend time with anyway. If you're spending the majority of your time walking around the matrix, um, I'm not sure why you would be doing that, but Love right. You. So for the most part, you can practice completely opening your heart and, um, surrendering totally to God. And then you will attract better and better and safer and safer situations and people. But still, if you're going out and it doesn't feel safe, by all means, put up a shield, make yourself a little invisible you know, and just don't stay there too long. Why would you send love from the background, but don't necessarily open all your energy centers right there in the streets. So it's okay to temporarily shield yourself. Just do it consciously. Know that it's not who you are. It's a mechanism that's now for now seemingly needed. And it's okay. You can still send love from that non-dual place. As a woman, you can shield yourself a little bit until you're back home, but just make sure you put that shield down, make a conscious effort so it doesn't linger in your field and you don't project it onto your partner and you don't bring it into your own energy. You don't go to sleep with it. Like take your, just like you take your clothes off before bed, assuming also take your um, shield down when you come back home, when it's no longer needed, make that actually something that you know to do. Like you, you don't, you're not just wearing your physical clothes. You're also wearing your thoughts around you. You're also wearing your protection around you. And as a woman, that's very unhealthy. So find an environment to live in where for 80 or more percent of the time you can be completely unshielded and you know it's going to be safe. Be my Lovely. Yeah. So clear.